taking a deep inhale and a big sigh. <sighs> Just tuning into your breath as we gather into the space. Calling in your own higher self, your higher power, and your center. And starting to focus on your roots growing down into the ground as you breathe deeply. And we'll tune in to the kundalini energies and we'll do a little short kriya in a few moments so breathing into the base of your body envisioning the kundalini coiled at the base of the spine starting to rise up shashumna up the spine with gold light and Ida and Pingala wrapping around the spine and through the chakras, the Ida watery energy and the Pingala fiery energy intertwining back and forth through each other around the spine and through the chakras, raising the Kundalini, Kundalini energy, the Kundalini Shakti. Breathe deeply into this energy. inviting it to rise up and clear your energy field. Inhaling your arms up above head, palms together, pull them down to your heart. And we'll tune in with the Adi Mantra or the Om Namo Gurudev Namo, calling to the divine teacher, the divine wisdom within and all around. Deep inhale, big sigh. Inhale to Om Namo Gurudev Namo. Om Namo Guru Dev Namo Om Namo Guru Dev Namo Om Namo Guru Dev Deep inhale, big breath out, <sighs> clearing and releasing any energies which are no longer serving you or the collective. Breathing in love and releasing all fear. <sighs> Considering something in your life that feels like an obstacle, something that feels heavy or dense that you wish to lift away from your life. And we'll work with uh, first a quick Kriya to release frustration. I like to use it to focus on any mental or emotional barriers or obstacles. And it's with the palms strong, the fingers spread, and the elbows start just at the side of the ribs. And you're pushing up to the sky, looking up to the sky. And th there's a mantra to go with it, which is har, hare, hari. And, oh, sorry, no, we're not doing that one. We're not standing. <laughs> this is just har, har, har. <laughs> And then we're going to do another one with har, hare, hari. Uh, so this first one is har every time you lift the hands up and you're imagining whatever your barrier is. And if multiple come to you and you're lifting them up and out to the light of praise of the divine and imagining gold light. And if you're not on your moon time or pregnant, you can practice a light Uddiyana Bandha, a pumping in, pressing in of the belly at the end of the uh, mantra har. So we'll begin with a deep inhale. Bring that vision to your mind of your obstacle and lift it up and out to the sky with har, har, pushing it up, har, har, breaking through limitations, har, 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 har and cultivating joy, har, 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 Hut, 
Hut, hut, hut, hut, hut, hut, hut, hut, hut, hut, hut, hut, hut, hut, hut, hut, hut, hut, hut, hut, feel energy and strength building. Hut, 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 hut. You are powerful. You can break through anything. Hot, 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 hot. If the shoulders get more tired, put more power in the voice. Hot, 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 hot. Hut. Let the gold light fill your body with strength. Hut. 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 One more minute. Hut. 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 Smile with joy. Hut. 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 Hut, 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 even stronger. Hut, 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 destroy those barriers. Hut, hut, give them up to God. Hut, 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 five more. Hut, 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 lift the arms up, palms up to the sky. Inhale, hold the breath at the top of the breath. Big sigh, <sighs> lower your arms down to your sides, creating an orb of gold light around your whole body, your whole field, and ground the fingertips down on either side of you or on your knees or, or thighs. Breathe deeply and slowly, just envisioning this gold light surrounding you and sprinkling down through you feeling a lightness coming into your body, <sighs> thinking of that barrier or, or emotional blockage and stating over and over again in your mind's eye, I am free of sadness, I am free of fear, whichever it is for you, whatever's coming up, I'm free of frustration, I'm free of anger, I am free of self-doubt. Just roll that through your mind and we'll breathe into that personal clearing for a minute. Deep inhale, filling the belly. Big sigh or lion's breath. <sighs> Two more. <sighs> inhale, straightening out the spine. Roll the shoulders up to your ears. Exhale, roll them back and down. And we're just going to spend three minutes with another exercise you may have seen uh, at the end of the Subhagriya or Prosperity Meditation. And that's the one with the Har Hare Hari Wahe Guru. 
This is used to clear and charge the heart and solar plexus. One of the intentions of this piece of the Kriya or this Kriya on its own is to cut cords to the past and unravel residual energies that are stuck in the chakras. So you can imagine yourself sort of spooling and cutting, spooling and cutting, pulling out toxic energy, pulling out old emotion, pulling out stuck energy or residual energy and um, see yourself spooling it away and cutting it away. So it's not just a circle, circle, circle. It's actually like a cutting V down, cutting V down. And you're going har hare hari wahe guru. It's the left in front of the heart, the right in front of the solar plexus. And then you're rotating them one over top of the other. Har hare hari wahe guru. And we're looking up through the third eye and envisioning that sort of pulling away of cords, spooling out the cords and cutting them away and they get dissolved with the light of the sound. Har hare hari wahe guru 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 Deep inhale Bring the palms left hand underneath the right and place them in your lap and just breathe here. And imagine as you breathe, feel your breath going through all of your veins, all of your energy channels. Feel the residual vibration of the mantra filling your field with energy, feel that energy moving through your cells, rejuvenating and clearing your cells. And imagine light sort of filling that cup of the hands, filling that space with light, with the left palm open and the right and on top, palms both facing up. And just breathing here, feeling yourself gathering light in your lower chakras, filling with that energy of praise of divinity and letting it rise up 
from the base of the spine. Again, bringing your visualization to the center of the spine, to Shashumna, raising the Kundalini energy. And feel and envision that every breath raises energy up the spine and distributes light through the body into all the cells, into all the blood cells, into all the bone cells, the skin cells start shining with light. Every layer of the muscles shining with light. The layers and folds of the brain and the organs shining with light all the electrical impulses of the nervous system shining with light, moving through every layer of your body, shining with light, raising it up and out and envisioning that this light sort of explodes out the third eye and crown chakra, surrounding you again in that golden orb. And then inhaling your arms out and up again, palms together above head, pull them down into your heart center. And we'll close our opening practice with three ohms and one sat nam. Deep inhale, big sigh. <sighs> inhale to om. Inhale. Um. One more. Um. And Satna. Inhaling to Satna. Satnam. Satnam. Namaste. Loka samasta sukino bhavantu. May all beings be infinitely happy and free. Thank you so much for participating in this opening meditation, everyone.